I've been getting tons of questions why I use Yoda One Mass instead of AdMob or Unity Ads in my mobile games. So I've decided to run a real-world test with real users and money on the line. The results might surprise you. Hey everyone, if you're a mobile game developer wondering which ad mediation platform to use, this video is for you. I'm going to share the results of my head-to-head -head comparison between Yoda One Mass and AdMob using real data from my game King's Landing on Google Play. Let me give you some context first. I've been on quite a journey with ad mediation platforms over the years. I started with Unity Ads back in 2019 when I was just getting into mobile game development. Unity Ads seemed like a natural choice since I was using Unity Engine, but I wasn't completely satisfied with the revenue performance. After using Unity Ads for a while, I switched to AdMob and I used it for a long time. AdMob is Google's solutions well documented and integrates well with Google Play and many developers swear by it. But then in 2020 I've discovered Yoda One Mass and decided to give it a try. The switch was smooth and I noticed some improvements in my revenue, so I stuck with it. A few years ago I got curious about other options. I tried Iron Source first. That was a nightmare. The setup was incredibly complex, connecting all different ad networks was taking ages. I also experimented with Appadeal and stayed with Clever Ad Solutions for several months. But eventually I came back to Yoda One Mass. And people keep asking me why Yoda One Mass? Why not just stick with AdMob? And I didn't have hard data to back up my choice. So I decided to put it to the test with real users and real money. Here is what I did. I took my Game King's Landing and set up a proper A-B test using Google Play stage release feature. The setup was 50% of users got the version with Yoda One Mass and 50% got the version with AdMob. Identical ad placements in both versions, same game build, same everything except the ad mediation platform. I ran user acquisition campaigns from July 22nd to August 6th, about two weeks. I specifically targeted Brazil for these campaigns using both Google Ads and Meta Ads. Why Brazil? Because it's growing market for mobile games with decent ad rates and I could get good volume at reasonable acquisition costs. The final user split was 3,500 users on Yoda One Mass versus 3,200 users on AdMob, pretty close to 50-50. I spent $260 on this UA campaign because I wanted statistically meaningful data. Both user groups got the same ad formats at the same trigger points. The only variable was the mediation platform itself. Let's get to the numbers that matter. AdMob results. Total revenue $58.10. Total impressions $8,700. Total ad request $24,700, average CPM $6.62, match rate 99%, Yoda One Mass results. Total revenue $79.65, total impressions $10,500, average ECPM $7.59, daily active users $8,200. So Yoda One Mass generated $21.55 more revenue. That's 37% higher with roughly the same number of users. Here is what's really interesting about these numbers. But let me explain a couple of key terms first. Match rate. This is when the ad platform finds an advertising willing to show an ad for your request. AdMob had 99% match rate, meaning they found advertisers for almost every request. Fill rate. This is when that match actually converts into a real paying ad impression that users see. Here's where it gets interesting. AdMob had 24,700 requests, but only 8,700 impressions. That's about a 35% fill rate, meaning 65% of ad requests didn't result in actual paying impression, despite having a nearly perfect match rate. Meanwhile, Yoda One Mass served 10,500 impressions with a better overall performance. This suggests their multi-network mediation stack is doing a better job of actually filling ad requests with paying ads. The eCPM difference is significant too, $7.59 versus $6.62. That's about 15% higher likely due to competitive bidding from multiple networks in the mass system. Looking at daily trends, AdMob eCPM varied widely from $2.58 to $10.72, with some really good days hitting over $10, but also some terrible days. Mass was more consistent overall. Here's something cool. Mass shows detailed country breakdown. My top revenue countries were Brazil, US, UK, 
and Canada. This kind of data is super useful for targeting future campaigns. Now I need to be completely transparent about something important. While running these tests and seeing the results, I decided to reach out to Yoda One Mass asking if they'd be interested in sponsoring this video. And they agreed, and yes, this video is sponsored by them. But here's the crucial part. The test was already underway when I approached Yoda One about sponsorship, so they had no influence on the setup or results. These are the actual results I got and I'm sharing them exactly as they happened. I'm not here to push you toward Yoda One Mass just because they are sponsoring this video. The data speaks for itself, and I was going to share these results whether they were good or bad. Beyond the performance numbers, here is why I stuck with Yoda One Mass. Better field rates. As you saw in the data, AdMob had a 99% match rate, but only covered 35% of requests into actual impressions. That means 65% of potential ad opportunities were lost. Mass multi-networks approach clearly does a better job of filling those gaps. Multi-ad networks working together. Mass connects to your ad mob, Facebook audience network, Unity ads, Vongle, and others automatically. Instead of relying on one network's inventory, you get competitive bidding between multiple networks, which explains the higher eCPM. Better analytics. Look at the country breakdown I showed. Brazil, US, UK, Canada. Mass shows me exactly where my revenue is coming from, plus daily active users data that AdMob doesn't provide. This helps me to make smarter decisions about user acquisition targeting. Easy integration. The SDK is straightforward. I had it running in less than a day compared to complex setups like Iron Source, and I find it perfect for small teams or solo devs as you don't have to spend ages setting up all ad networks, ad units, and profiles. Reliable payments. Every tenth of the month for more than three years, never missed a payment. Consistent performance. While AdMob swung from $2.58 to $10.72 ECPM daily, Mass was much more stable and predictable. The data backs up what I experienced. It's not just about ease of use, it's about actual performance. If you want to try Yoda One Mass yourself, I've put the link in the description below. Does this mean that Yoda One Mass is automatically the best choice for everyone? Absolutely not. Your results might be completely different based on geographic markets. My top countries were Brazil, US, UK and Canada. If your audience is primarily in different regions, say Asia, Eastern Europe or other Latin American countries, the network partnerships and demand could be completely different. Game genre. This was an idle arcade game. Action games, casual games or hyper-casual games might see different results because user behavior and advertiser demand varies by gender. Traffic volume. Some networks perform better with high volume, others are better for smaller developers. AdMob has serious advantages too. It's Google platform, so it integrates perfectly with Google Play, has massive global reach and 99% match rate shows how reliable their inventory is. The issue seems to be converting those matches into actual paying impressions, but in the other markets or with different game types, that might not be a problem. The $21.55 difference, while significant, represents just one test with my specific audience. Test for yourself if you can. The bottom line, data beats opinions every time. I did this test because I wanted real numbers, not just gut feelings. For my specific game with Brazilian users in this time period, Yoda One Mass outperformed AdMob, but that's just one data point. I'm also planning to make an updated and easy to follow tutorial on how to integrate Yoda One Mass SDK in your game, so subscribe and hit the bell if you don't want to miss that. And if you've done your own testing with app platforms, drop a comment below, I'd love to hear how your results compare. And if this video helped you out, give it a like and share it with other devs or reach out to Yoda One for support. Thanks to Yoda One Mass for sponsoring this video and letting me share the real unfiltered results. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one where I'd probably be testing something else, spending real money on experiments. Bye.